Hey everybody, I'm going to do a quick review of the install of the Ultra HDMI install uh, on my N64 from Badass Consoles. I received it the other day. It took about a month, month and a half to get completed. Um, that was a complete turnaround time for me dropping it off in the mailbox and uh, receiving it in the mail. Uh, unfortunately, in the shipping, uh, shipping it to uh, Badass Consoles, uh, my N64 got damaged. Um, as you can see here, the uh, top flap here is broken, and I also received a crack in the console itself. No big deal. Uh, the console still works great. It's just uh, still it's, uh, sucks that my N64 was damaged in the shipping, but it still works. Uh, the total cost with shipping was $177 round trip and uh, the install came out great as you can see here on the back of the console there is now a mini HDMI connection Let's see if I can focus in on here for you um, it's not a standard HDMI port it's a mini HDMI uh, port you have to purchase a mini HDMI cable in order for this to work it does not come included with the install you can purchase on Amazon for only a few bucks um, as you can see here, this is the only thing that's added. Everything else looks stock. Um, since it's a transparent console, you can see the Ultra HDMI board that has been installed. It looks pretty good, pretty clean. And there is also a sticker added um, on the bottom here showing that the Ultra HDMI has been installed on the console. To do my uh, testing, uh, I'm going to use um, my EverDrive 64. Uh, it has some ROMs on it. Uh, that I've been using on my standard N64 uh, for a long time now and it works great so I am going to uh, run through um, the games through this. I'm going to be using a Vizio M70 C3 TV um, it is a 4K TV it works great and uh, we'll see what happens, how it looks, and see how it looks All right, so I plugged in the N64, and uh, I'm about to power it up and see what it looks like. You can see on the top there, it's a 1080p. Um, all right, so I'm using an EverDrive 64, so I can select. These are the games I have. I also will be showing you guys. Um, you can also use uh, NES games on here as well. I think a good game. Alright, we'll play some Mario Kart 64. The sound sounds great, by the way. I'm, uh, my sound bar here with my sub. Um, to adjust the settings, the video settings, on the N64 controller, you simply press uh, left C button and the top two uh, triggers on top, so like that. And you can adjust the settings. I'm going to leave them alone for right now. Just to show you guys what the video looks like. Right now I have interlacing turned on, and I think it looks pretty good. Uh, but you can turn those options off. I'm not going to erase, I'm just going to zoom in on the video for you guys to see. And I'm gonna right now. Uh, I'm gonna adjust some of the settings. So right now, let's see scan lines. I'm gonna turn off scan lines. Right now, it's on hybrid. So if you select none, it looks brighter in the screen. But actually, it turns off every other line. And then there's also hybrid or simple. I think uh, hybrid looks the best. Uh, I also have the overscan turned on, so it zooms in just a bit. If none, it looks kind of small, but on my TV, so I zoom in a bit, it looks pretty good. You can also do a stretch or cinema, which is really zoomed in. 
normal hair. There's also advanced. Um, I'm not entirely sure what these settings are. at 1080p, refresh rate. So let me zoom back down here. Go do a quick lap. Game looks great in real life. I don't know if this is coming through on the camera. Let me try another game for you guys. So in order for me to select another game, I have to hit the reset button on my N64. So let's see here, we can play one more game. About Star Fox. Message from General Pepper, priority one. It's about time you showed up, Fox. You're the only hope for our world. I'll do my best. Andros won't have his way with me. See what it looks like without the uh, scan lines or not. Get your heat diffuser system. Falco here. I'm fine. It's a little more blurry. Um, still looks great though. Plays so much better than the Wii U version. All right, let me show you the NES emulator on through EverDrive. Okay, so uh, 
We're gonna select a game here. Let's see, I got a couple of games with me. How about Super Mario Brothers 3? Looks great. Looks really crisp and really clear. Let's see if I can zoom in. No pixelation, no blurriness at all. It looks great. It looks it looks amazing. I'm using an N64 controller, so uh, might be a little weird for me to play here. I don't notice any lag um, on the emulator, so it runs pretty well. Just the controller's different. I'm used to NES controller. Alright. So, uh, that is the H Ultra HDMI mod with the EverDrive 64. If you guys have any requests, you want me to try filming anything in any certain conditions, let me know. Um, I'll try my best to uh, fulfill those requests. So, uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys later.